Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. We have something very unusual happening with the burr oak trees, and I'm going to take a little bit of time to explain it to you. This is what I wanted to show you. We have acorns on these very young trees. These trees are about eight years old. We're just guessing on that. When we got them, they were four to five feet tall. That's the category they were in. And that includes the roots. There's video of us planting these, so you can look back and see how big they were. And bur oak trees are not supposed to produce acorns until they're 35 years old. So these are 27 years early. I searched all over the internet looking for any articles, anything from a university or anything like that, that said that they can produce acorns as young as, but I couldn't find anything. All the stuff said 35 years. Other varieties of oaks can produce acorns at like 20 years, and a whole bunch of ours have done that. We have trees along the road here that were saplings when we bought this property 20 years ago. I'll show you the acorns on those. Um, so those definitely will do it before 35 years, but having this tree produce acorns at eight years, and we have one over there that's five years old. That was a one foot tall whip. Um, actually, that would be four years old. We have a four year old tree over here that has bigger acorns than this, and that's only four years old. And there's one more tree up that way. I believe it only has one acorn, but I'll show you both of those as well. I wanted to document this before the animals come in and take the acorns away. Burr oaks are in the white oak family. White oaks have sweeter nuts and the ones down low, I'm afraid once the deer find out they're here, the deer might take them all and the squirrels may take the ones up higher. The burr oak has the biggest acorn out of all of the oaks it gets huge. I'll show you some images online real quick. Um, there's one with a like a little girl holding it in her hand and it's as big as her hand. These get very big. I don't know if these are going to do that or not because this is way too early in the tree's life to be producing acorns to start with. So I don't know maybe these will produce acorns every year now but I highly doubt it. Oak trees in general, a lot of oak trees won't produce acorns every year. Some will produce like every three years and what all of them do is have a mast year. A mast year they'll produce way more acorns than the animals in the area can eat which assures that some of them that drop are going to survive. Let me show you an acorn from a red oak here. This oak is, oh, this is probably 25 years old, and I'm just going by the diameter of the trunk because it's a little bit bigger than the ones that I mentioned before that are about 20 years old. A lot of these are from last year, but this is from this year. What they do is eject any acorns that aren't viable. The tree will just shed them, but these red oaks the acorns take two years to mature. So if they drop them in fall, they're not gonna mature until the next spring. They'll sit under the snow until the next spring. And white oaks, they start like this in whenever, I think these started in the beginning of July, right around there sometime. And once they mature at the end of the year, they'll drop from the tree and start growing right away. 
So these mature in one year, those take two years. I'll give you a couple fun facts about bur oak trees before we head over and take a look at these other acorns. A bur oak tree this size, this is about eight years old, is going to have a tap root that's 14 feet deep. So bur oaks are almost impossible to transplant and they're pretty darn hard to start from a bare root tree. I got it down pat, but they are not easy because they have to prune the tap root. This is interesting. I haven't seen this before. These holes in the tree right here in a line like that, that's from a sap sucker. I don't know why a sap sucker would be sucking on an oak tree like this, but that's what those are. Sap suckers look a lot like a woodpecker, but, well, I guess they are a woodpecker, but they make the lines going across like that. Let's see if this one has it on it. This one does not have any acorns. And it doesn't have any sap sucker. Oh, yes, it does. Right there. It shouldn't hurt the tree, the sap sucker holes. But I find it kind of interesting that a sap sucker would be messing with the oak tree to start with. All right, another interesting fact about burr oaks is that sap suckers will go after them. Learn something new every other day. Yeah, the main reason I wanted to get this all on film is because I could not find this anywhere on the internet that a burr oak can get acorns as young as. None of the articles mentioned anything like that. They all said 35 years. Uh, the youngest that they mentioned an oak tree can get acorns is five years, but we don't even have that type of oak around here. I'm looking all over for the single acorn. It's in another video. I did a video before this where I show all of the different oaks, but I was hoping to do this video first, but you're gonna see this video first, so it looks like you're going to have to watch that other video to see the tree that has the single acorn on it. I don't know, the wind must have been blowing just right that day. Look at this last one. I'll have to look back at that video and see which tree it was on and see if I can find it again. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't see it. I guess we'll go look at the ones over on this tree over here. And you can watch that other video. All right. When I first noticed that there was acorns growing, I seen it on the tree we just looked at before. I seen it from the other side and I only saw one acorn. And then I went back to look at it the next day and I went to the wrong tree. And I thought I was just imagining it or an animal went and got it. But then when I was doing the trimming, I went around to the back side of the tree to the south side. And that's where you can see all the acorns from. If you go around to the other side, they're really hard to see. I don't know if it's like that on a normal tree. These are very unusual, but that was what happened with that. All right, let's go look at this and then we'll wrap this up. And here's the last one. And you can see the acorns are roughly the same size, but you can see the nut. Even on the tiny ones, you can see the nut. And oh, I thought there was some that were a good deal bigger up higher, but they all look to be the same size. 
yeah, it'll be real interesting to see how big these get. We have deer that come right through here, so they'll probably strip these off as soon as they get a little bit riper, but hopefully some of the ones up, oh no, a deer can get any of these. They'll stand on their hind legs and rip them off. Too bad. Well, maybe they won't find them. But again, this tree was one foot tall when we planted it. And I believe this is its fourth year. So we'll say it's five years old. Could be six years old. But none of the literature said anything about bur oaks this young having acorns on them. There's a couple immature ones there. Dried up. So, I just wanted to get this on record. If anybody's doing research on bur oaks, they can produce acorns as young, we'll call it five years, as young as five years, but they normally produce them at 35 years. And what is it? The, their optimal acorns are after 50 years. I believe it was 50 to 80 years, but they can produce acorns up to 400 years. Yeah, bur oaks can get 400 years old and produce acorns right up to the end. Another thing to note about bur oak acorns is that they can drop as early as August and as late as December, but bur oaks have a huge range. They go from like Texas to mid-Canada, so I'm guessing the December ones are Canada and the August ones are Texas. I would guess they drop their acorns at about the same time as the other oaks here in this area, which would be, oh, probably mid-September, early October. But if the animals leave them alone, we'll be able to see on that. Yeah, I'm taking one last look for that elusive acorn. I looked on the way up here and on the way back and no luck. I thought I seen it like right on the edge of the tree like this on the roadside. Ah, there it is. That's it. Just those two tiny little acorns and it's on the third tree. This is the tree it was hanging over and had some really funky leaves on. So I cut the top off right above a side branch and this side branch took over as a top. This is gonna be a real interesting looking tree. Cool. Definitely not viable, but we're gonna watch those. So for me, this is cool as all get out. I didn't think I was ever going to see acorns on these trees. And I've looked on the mature trees. There's a few of them down the end of the road there. I've never been able to find acorns on them. And now I know why. They're kind of hidden. I'm going to have to take another look and see if we can find some mature acorns down at the end of the road there. But we're definitely going to keep track of what these do. Yeah, that's really odd that the ones on this tree and that other tree, the older trees, are closed up like that. They don't have any nut. And this younger tree, all of the acorns have nuts on them. That's really odd. So, I will do an update. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure when these fall or when they're going to be stolen by animals. So... I'll either do shorts or just short videos and do a couple more updates before the end of the year. So if you want to see those updates, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. 
And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.